YouTube welcome back to my channel so I am back like I never left and this headline really did grab my attention and I am loving it allegedly the Queen has finally come to her senses regarding her grandson Harry and she is set to strip him of not one or two but three of his military patronages which is well deserved i think that harry has royally deserved this stripping so it's quite exciting we are finally seeing some justice being served upon the harry and the megsy so i'm going to get into this article and i just want to share the great fantastic news with you guys if you haven't already heard about it this is by the express it says queen elizabeth is set to strip prince harry of his three military patronages including his beloved appointment as captain general of the royal marines one year after mexit and just to interrupt this article has over 250 comments which is extremely high for an express article so I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this. That Harry is finally seeing the error of his way. Or at least he's going to feel the error of his ways. The Queen's mind is set on not allowing Prince Harry to retain his three honorary military titles if he is no longer a full-time working royal. Senior palace sources have suggested... This means the monarch will likely finalise the decision to take these patronages away from the Duke of Sussex at the end of the 12-month review of the so-called Megxit deal at the end of March. The Queen left the door open for one year to a possible return into the royal fold of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. But as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appear content with their new life in California, the monarch will resign these positions to other senior royals. The Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer has reported, among the royals tipped over the past months to take on one or more of these roles, there are Prince William and Princess Anne. The final decision lays with the Queen, as noted by one defence source. They said these appointments are entirely a gift of the Queen. The 12-month review was put in place in January last year to allow both parts to reconvene and rediscuss the terms of the Mexit agreement if they were unhappy with it. However, Mr Palmer wrote, it will likely be a low-key meeting unlike the summit which took place at Sandringham in January last year during which Meghan and Harry's exit deal was flashed out. A source said, there's not much to discuss. During the meeting at Sandringham on January 18th, 2019, Prince Charles appeared keen on pursuing a deal closer to the half-in, half-out solution detailed by Meghan and Harry in their bombshell statement announcing their decision to step back. However, the Queen put her foot down and decided it was impossible to allow the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to become financially independent while representing the Crown. The Duke of Sussex voiced his disappointment in the wake of the Sandringham Summit, speaking during a charity event in honour of his organisation, Centable. He said, What I want to make clear is we're not walking away, and we certainly aren't walking away from you. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth and my military associations, but without public funding. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. I've accepted this knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. Following the March review, Prince Harry is set to lose his appointments as Captain General of the Royal Marines, which he inherited in 2017 from prince philip so that's quite brutal he really is being chopped down to size and i think that it's fantastic to be honest so i'm going to flash forward to the comments that people have left and i'm sure there is a lot of celebratory references on this article so someone has said harry lost his military titles for suing the daily mail and prolonging the issue by demanding a public apology the statement from his handlers after the court case was terribly aggressive 
This was all due to a senior military figure commenting Harry was doing nothing for his military roles and those roles needed someone to be regularly participating in matters. The Queen obviously thought Harry's court response was a negative impact. I just hope she does the same with the public perception of them and removes their HRH and succession. However, I fear we have seen all that the Queen will do. Snouts need troughs. So there you have it. It's a conundrum as to why suddenly he's lost these titles. I think that his case against the Daily Mail was definitely uncalled for and it did reflect badly and poorly on the rest of the firm. So it's only rightful that these military titles and patronages do go to a senior royal who is actually present on British soil for more than once a week every year. Harry and Meghan should lose every single patronage that they have been gifted because they're simply not here to do the job. They don't reside in the UK. They're very absorbed with American politics and what's going on in the United States of America. And that's where they should stay. That's exactly what they should do. We shouldn't have to bear the brunt of their fabulous, lavish lifestyle while they extract all the goodness from our kindness and generosity, especially as British UK tax players and the rest of his family. They have been generous to him and he's given everyone else in the firm a really bad name. It's bad enough that in this day and age, we fund their lifestyles and therefore we are entitled to see their children witness their celebrations that we pay for and have access to them within reason of course but have some kind of access and also have some kind of contribution the least they could do is live here be present and do their job which is to be humanitarians to be charitable kind respectable human beings who draw attention to worthwhile causes they simply do not want to do that so why should they cash in on all of these fancy royal privileges and titles. I don't think that the Queen is going to take any further action, but I am crossing my fingers in the hope that she actually does. So someone else has gone on to say, this is all speculation until we hear it officially. It's speculation. I do hope he does lose them because to keep them is a mark of disrespect for this country. It's people and insulting to the regiments. Also, how can they retain the Sussex titles too? Have they been there? They don't live in the UK. If the Queen gives in to him, she will lose many fans as more people will turn to choosing a republic. And that's the danger here. The danger is that a lot of people feel as though it's pointless paying for the monarchy when they have two characters like Harry and Meghan who are literally cashing in on what it is to be royal. They have not acted in a royal capacity for an extremely long time and yet they have the privilege of cashing in on these two titles which makes us feel as though we're not being listened to as British citizens and therefore what's the point of even having any of them? They should all be stripped, we should just have a republic and Buckingham Palace should turn into some kind of museum, along with Sandringham and all the other buildings that they own collectively. I'll be back with another video, guys. Until next time, take care.